Hey guys, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. Uh, welcome to my channel. I've been really busy today, guys, and I just wanted some company while I make some early supper. It's only quarter to three, but I thought I'd make this now while I have the energy, and because uh, then I gotta take a trip to town and all that jazz to pick up one of the kids. No, I've been on a roll today, guys. I'm cleaning. So when I have a cleaning spree kind of a day, I roll with it. And I thought tonight I'm going to make myself or my family some chili. It's so super duper easy. And uh, I thought you guys can keep me company. And for those that's never made chili before, you can just see how super easy it is. It's as easy as making spaghetti. Really, if you have the ingredients or chili again, I say this so often. So something on my burner, it's smoking. Something must have fell down. Um, it's one of those like dump all meals. You, you can whatever you have left over in your fridge. If you have any onions or tomatoes, celery, uh, you can put anything in this. Spinach. I'm, that's what I'm doing today. I have celery in there. I have onions. I think I have a couple hot dogs in there too. I might chop those up and put them in here. Don't knock until you try it. If you have bacon, I don't have any bacon. You could uh, cut that up small and fry it and throw it in a chili. So good. So I'm just going to get this sizzling and uh, dig out my veggies. Then we'll be back. All right, starting to do its dance. Maybe it'll bring you out a little bit. And I'm just gonna go with my usual. So I put this in everything. I always use onion powder and garlic powder and pepper for sure. And depending on what I'm making, how much salt I put in it. But those are my absolutely go-tos with just about every single thing I cook on the stovetop. Uh, let me find my stuff. There's some garlic powder, onion powder. I'm not gonna add any salt right now. But no, I'm home with. Uh, let me see here. Let me think. One, two, three, four, five kids right now. Two in diapers. The other ones are a bit bigger. And I just thought I'd jibber jabber. Uh, the spices that you add, guys, it's your per personal preference. Use what you like. Use how much you like. I'd say that was at least probably um, a tablespoon of each. I know some people just might not like garlic or whatever. We love it. If you get stinky breath, well, you can always brush your teeth. It's all good. So, we'll do that. So, what's new with you guys? What are you making for supper? I'm going to turn that down a little bit. I got my veggies out, and I'll start chopping those up while I talk to you for a minute. Oops, bring me back this way. Um, last night, my husband and I, we finished watching, uh, oh, just a second here. Oh. Yeah, last night, we finished watching The Blacklist, season four. It just came out on Netflix, at least here in Canada. I know the Netflix in the States is, I think, so much better, apparently. They have so many more things, but um, we don't have cable TV here, guys. We just have internet, Netflix, Crave TV, you know, the Amazon Prime video stuff. But anyways, um, Season 4 of The Blacklist just came on Netflix just this week, and we binge-watched it. It's a good show. If you haven't watched it, I, I recommend it. So I think Season 5 comes out this fall. So we'll see. I don't want to give any spoilers. But then you guys out there that's watched this show are probably thinking, you're just getting to this show now? Yep, I am. Uh, that's the beauty of Netflix. You can watch old old shows like Highway to Heaven if you like uh, and watch the whole gamut of it. Another show that we binge watched not too long ago 
It's called Rake. And if you haven't seen that, that's an absolute must watch. Rake. It's a it's a, an Australian show, but it's funny, dramatic, but it's oh it's good. It's good. Looking for any recommendations? I that's a go-to for sure. Oh, I can hear my kids out there fighting. If you guys can hear them. Anyways, that's a good one. So, what are, what are some of the shows that you guys like to watch? I I kept I watched some of my videos just recently, just rewatching some of my old ones. And I do a lot of jibber jabbering, but I forget to ask things from you guys. Feel free to share. Talk to me, you know what I mean? What you like, what you like to eat, what you like to watch, what you like to do. This is almost done. What are you guys doing? Jeepers, creepers. It sounds like the house is falling apart. I gotta go see what they're doing. They're in, in there upending the stinking coffee table. I told them to smarten up. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm just in the mood to talk about some movies or TV shows. Um, another show, I'm the only one that watched it here, but um, it's on Amazon Prime Video. It's called American Gods. Why don't I just do this? That's a good one if you like a little more of the paranormal stuff, but it's an adult show. It's not for kids, that's for sure. There's a bit of nudity and strong language and whatnot. But it's a good show. It's only been in season one, so I don't know when the next one will come out. But I have Amazon Prime, and I think it comes with Amazon Prime. I believe. Either way, if you have to buy it separate, I, I don't think it's very much. Just like Netflix or something. And I've been watching a little bit of Lucifer. I'm still in season one, but that seems like a pretty good show. What are your guys' thoughts on that? So... I just cut up an onion and put that in there. I'm going to cut up some, if I had it all already, like the onions and peppers and celery, I'd fry it all together, but I don't have it all ready. So I'll finish this up and then we'll move on. All right, I strained the hamburger because it was a little greasy and uh, I put it in my big stock pot. So I cut up a yellow pepper and a, I think uh, three stalks of celery and I'm just wiping these mushrooms off. And we'll do that up. I like a whole bunch of stuff in my chili. I don't like a runny chili. I like it nice and thick and chunky. And I just use the same pan. Didn't even wipe it out. I mean, there's a little hamburger grease in there. I dumped out as much as I could, but it's not going to hurt anything. Not at all. So, yeah, when you, when you make a chili... Um, you can buy the seasoning packages, like chili seasoning, you know, that old El Paso kind, at the store. And those are tasty. We've used those for years. But you can use your own chili powder, too. And I think I have some here. That's what I like to use if I have it. And, yeah, you can put anything in this. Just cut it up to the size that you like. We like it kind of bite size or... I don't want it too, too big because the kids won't eat, a thing, eat it if the stuff in it is too big. And with mushrooms, you don't really rinse them under water. You wipe them off. This is a clean towel. Just because there's a bit of dirt on them. Just give them a little wipe. You have a clean paper towel or tea towel, whatever works. Whatever tickles your fancy. So I got a notification in my email that... Creature Season 1 is on the Amazon, too. Uh, and that's a great show. And it's only, I think there's a Season 2 out, or that's aired, but we never got it. So it's not out for people to watch yet, unless you buy it. But again, I don't even think you can buy it yet. But has any of you guys out there watched that show, Creature? It's on AMC, the same channel as The Walking Dead, which I'm a fan of, too. Um... Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Maze, what are you doing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Danger. 
poured it. I don't know what has gotten into him. I swear to goodness, he's full of piss and vinegar today. He's up to. If you're going to throw your toys, Maze, I'm putting them right in the garbage. You want me to put them in the garbage? No. Well, then you don't throw toys. Yeah, piss and vinegar, I'm telling you. Oh, well, we're all that way sometimes, aren't we? Well, except me and you. I'm just teasing. Yeah. So I've been watching a lot of Thanksgiving videos on uh, YouTube. I do this every year, right around this time. For those that don't know, in Canada, we have our Thanksgiving in October, the first part of October. I know yours is near the end of November. So, oftentimes there's some Christmas decorations up with your Thanksgiving. With my Thanksgiving, or our Thanksgiving, I know in my house, I have a ton of Halloween decorations up when we have a big turkey dinner. Turkey and ham dinner. Anyways, I love Thanksgiving. I love, love, love Thanksgiving. I like to host a big meal, and I always do it on the Saturday of a Thanksgiving weekend. That way more people can come because, you know, a lot of people have their Thanksgiving dinners, their own dinners on Sunday or Monday so nobody's really cooking a big turkey dinner on a Saturday so more people can come because I think the more the merrier honestly I do so yeah I've just been watching since I'm new to YouTube or you know this year in February I, I'm going to have like a little Thanksgiving series well I don't know if you'd call it a series but just watch me you know, how I how I make things and how we decorate. I'm certainly, if you haven't watched many of my videos, you can see around my house, I'm not a big decorator. But I don't want to be, you know, they look beautiful in other people's houses. I'm just not into that sort of thing. But I'm into Halloween and I'm into Thanksgiving. And I love Christmas too. But Thanksgiving is my big hosting extravaganza. Uh, I, of course, I always have a Christmas dinner and all that stuff too, but this is when I have a big, big dinner. Sometimes I do a Chinese dinner on New Year's, but it's still not as big as my Thanksgiving one. So we're just going to sa saute these up a little bit. You don't need to cook them all the way, but just, I want the mushrooms to start to, you know, let some of their juices out. And same with the celery. You know, you want a little bite, but you don't want it super crunchy, or I don't. Got one mushroom left. Misha, is there any more hot dogs in the fridge? Oh, I see what he's doing. He's gonna get in trouble. He's dropping the rest of my celery stalks on the floor. You need to get out of this kitchen. You need to get the high heck out of my kitchen right now. You're not going out in the porch, silly boy. Okay, I'm passing to me because I'm gonna cut them up. Can you bring them over here so I can cut them up? Uh, yeah, he's over there throwing celery stalks on the floor. And there's two hot dogs left from the other day when we went to the theme park. If you haven't seen that video. I'm going to chop those suckers up and put it right in here too. I was watching that video. I was watching that video. You were watching that video? Uh, that's Miss Misha, you guys. There. We'll do this. But yeah, bacon is really good in this. Um, and if I had cooked quinoa or uh, beans or barley, I'd throw this right in here too. Honestly, I would. It's really good. It just adds a little more hardiness to it. And it all works. And we don't have hot dogs all that often. So this is a good way to use them up and it's spread spread out, you know, it's going to be in a giant stock, my 22 quart stock pot. Uh, that stock pot's not going to be full, I'm telling you, but it's, I need a bigger pot than my regular potato pot. So, we'll get this ready and then we'll just mix it all together. Alright guys, I'm just lifting up the whole tripod. That's the hamburger and the onions. That's the mushrooms, hot dogs, peppers, and celery. I didn't add any seasoning to that. I did add some pepper, you didn't see me, to the hamburger mixture. So now I'm just gonna dump this into that. And hopefully I don't spill it all over my stove top. Ah, I'm 
right-handed. Want to get all that goodness. Then I'm just going to mix it up. I have the burner on a five just so this kind of meshes together a little bit. Smells really good in here, guys. Wish my tripod went up high enough. I can get you guys sitting on something. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to open... Um, oh, where is it? Let me bring it over here so you can see. I swear I had my kitchen all cleaned up today. There. I was just looking in the cupboard. I was hoping I had a can of, you know, diced tomatoes, but I don't. This is the pasta sauce or tomato sauce we opened up yesterday when we had those English muffin pizzas. Get going, you guys. Get it going. Yeah, I'll fix it. I'll get it after. And then this is all home canned uh, black beans and chili beans. I'm going to put them all in because they're all good. I'll get a couple more things of... I can up my own tomato sauce, guys. I know I've said it in other videos, but if you're new, I usually have my own tomato sauce, but I don't have any left. But I just talked to the guy yesterday, and I said I want about 200 pounds of tomatoes, so I'm going to be doing lots and lots of tomatoes in the next coming weeks. But I have some store-bought pasta sauce, and I'm going to get a couple cans of tomato soup, and I put it in. So good. So give me a minute. Oh, yeah, and I like to add corn, or if I had pineapple. Pineapple's good in chili, too. My home canned corn right off the cob so I'll start opening that stuff up So there it is all mixed up together. Now I'm going to dig, rummage up in my uh, cupboards to find my chili powder. And I'm leaving this on five. I'm going to keep an eye on it. I'm not walking away from this pot because you don't want to scorch the bottom of your pot. Um, but once it starts bubbling on top, stir it every once in a while. And then I'm going to add the chili powder. Okay, come on. Okay, guys, the time got away from me, and I had to run into town and get one of the babies, so I stopped at the dollar store because Miss Misha was with me, and she wanted to buy something with her birthday money, but at the dollar store, they had diced tomatoes, oh, that's the French, with uh, Italian spices, so I added one can to this, and I brought the, I turned the pot off when I left, but when I got back, I turned it back on to start uh, heating up, and I ended up putting four tablespoons of this chili powder in it. Um, but it's all a matter of taste, what you like, how spicy you want it, or anything like that. So now I'm just going to make sure it's heated through. The longer this sits, the better it's going to taste, but i got a house full of hung hungry kids, so we're going to dish it up soon. Looking good. Well, I didn't get a chance to film, you know, scooping it out or anything like that. I had the whole fam damnly here. Just kidding, guys, but I had everybody here, and everybody was hungry, and I just dished it out, and we ate quick. But you can see, we, uh, what did you forget? Oh, you can see up in the pot, we ate quite a bit, ate quite a bit. What I'm going to do, I scoop some of this into little freezer containers and freeze it. For my son-in-law, he's getting his captain's fishing license, so he's going to, like, a fishing school for a few weeks. And I'll send it with him next time he's up. So when he gets home from school, he won't have to make supper. And I'll just have some in there in case my daughter wants some or whatever. So let me dig the... This is what I bought the other day at the Dollarama. Um, I've never used these before. I usually buy those little tin ones. But they're used for $3 for 10 little containers that come with lids. They're not big, big portions, but that's okay. But they say they're good for the freezer and to heat up in the microwave. I don't know. I'm going to give them a quick rinse and start filling these suckers up. Well, that's it, guys. I'm just letting them cool a little bit longer. It's not hot, but I just I want them cooled down a little more before I really seal them up and stick them in the freezer. And, yeah, if you're not familiar with freezer meals, you just need to take it out in the morning and let it defrost, and then you can heat it up in the microwave or put it in a pot and just warm it up. 
whatever works. So, yeah, thanks for joining me today for supper time. And it's great. It's great. I'm going to kick back and relax after all I've done today. And, uh, yeah, we'll be ready to rock for tomorrow. All right. Please like, share, and subscribe. And peace, love, and happiness. Bye, Julie. <laughs>